welcome to a literacy video for Friday the 5th of June. So today you'll be needing your literacy pack with the date of Monday the 1st of June on the front of it and you can turn all the way to the back where you'll find out we're doing some reading comprehension today. So you're going to get to show us what you've understood about a sentence or a piece of text. So you might recognise these. On our mind level we've got our who, where and what sentences. And then moving on up to our medium and hot, we've got short boxes of text with six questions for you to answer underneath. So let's have a little go at those. So if you're picking the mild chili, you've got your who, where and what with a sentence for each one. So we need to carefully read the sentence first using our phonics to help us read. At the seaside, Holly built a beautiful sandcastle. Now the first question is asking me who. So I'm going to go back through and read it just to triple check because I'm looking for a name. I'm looking for a person. At the seaside is Polly. So I'm going to write Polly down making sure I've used a capital letter because Polly is a proper noun. It's a person's name. Moving on to my next question, it's asking me where. Where was Polly? So I'm going to read the, my sentence again. At the seaside, Polly built. Oh, I've already found it. Polly was at the seaside. So I'm going to copy that down using this to help me spell. At the seaside. And then your last question asks you what she was doing. Now, this can be a bit tricky because we need to look for a verb. She's got to be doing something. It's a doing word we're looking for. At the seaside, Polly built. She was building a sandcastle. So in the what box, I'm going to write building a sandcastle. Again, if I'm not sure how to spell, I can look at my sentence and copy it from there. So that's the mild sheet. If we move on up to the medium sheet, you have got a text called Mr Snuggles Gets Lost. Now the first thing you need to do before you even have a go at answering the questions, you need to take your time to read this text carefully. If there's any words you don't understand, you need to underline them and you can perhaps ask someone at home what they mean or you could go on a dictionary and look it up online. So, once you've taken your time to read through and you've understood what happened, then you can answer your six questions at the side. Now this is, if you're medium, your first question, so we could do this one together. So if you want to pause it now to read, that's fine. So, first question phase, why did Bobby feel a little bit sore? So I'm going to use the skill of scanning the text because I'm looking for the words feeling a little bit sore, okay? So I don't need to read all the text and I can quickly scan through to find similar words to these. So, in a free reach, oh, Bobby flew forward losing her balance and falling into the rack of four bags and cases. Feeling flutter a little bit sore. So I found that phrase a little bit sore. So I'm going to underline it. And I'm just going to go back because I think before then it tells me why she was feeling a little bit sore. And that's what the question is asking me. If I go back a little bit, it says Bobby flew forward, losing her balance and falling into the rack full of bags and cases. So what I've done is I've got my pencil out and I've underlined my answer in the text so I never lose it. So then underneath, on my lines, I can write number one and using this question to help me write my answer, I'm going to write Bobby felt a little bit sore because and then I can look at the text where I've underlined my answer. She fell into a rack full of bags. So I can just copy it from the text. She fell into a rack full of bags. Now, if you are on and have 
having a go at the trickier one at the end, so the hot chilli, you've got a slightly different text. It's got some quite tricky words in there, so make sure you underline any words you're unsure of and find out what they mean first. But the same again, you need to read it all through first and then have a go at answering your questions. Okay? So good luck, take your time in reading and use your phonics.